Precision Editor in iMovie lets us fine-tune the transitions between clips. To activate the Precision Editor, double-click on the right or left edge of a clip. Or we can go to the edge of a clip and use the shortcut Command forward slash. Forward slash is also the question mark key. Doing that stacks the two clips involved in the transition. The first or incoming clip is always on top. The transition itself is here in the middle, and then the second or outgoing clip is on the bottom. We can close the precision editor with this button in the upper left, or by just clicking on the dark gray areas above, below, or in the middle of the clips. Notice as I hover over each clip, the playhead turns red. If I hit the spacebar, only that clip plays. The transition is ignored. As I hover over the middle space between the clips, the playhead is extended and turns white. This plays both the clips with the transition, exactly what we would see in the standard timeline. Click and drag on a clip to adjust where in that clip the transition will begin to occur. Drag left and the incoming clip is extended. Less of it is in the darkened area here, which represents the part of the clip that occurs after the transition. Drag right and less of the incoming clip is shown. Notice that the length of the clip displayed in the movie is shown as I'm adjusting it. The gray bars shown in both clips represent the start and end of the transition. Click and drag on these to set the exact point you want the transition to begin or end. To move the entire transition, click and drag on it here in the middle bar. To adjust the length of the transition, drag on its edges here in the middle bar. The length of the transition is displayed as I adjust it as well. The next transition in the movie is represented by a smaller gray button here in the middle bar. When I click on this, it will expand, and then the clip preceding it, which has been the outgoing clip, becomes the incoming clip and is moved to the top of the Precision Editor. You probably won't need the Precision Editor for all your transitions, but it can be great for action shots or just getting the perfect timing that you're looking for.